What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Nussie Copen back here for another video today. So we are obviously in the Mark IV Jetta. Obviously still using it as a daily. That is the plan and that is going to be the ongoing trend is driving the Jetta as a daily. But today I wanted to get back into kind of doing some stuff to this car. So today we're going to change something out that I've been talking about in the past couple of videos. Somebody just went flying past on the four wheel. If you guys are new here and stopping by for the first time, don't be afraid to smash that subscribe button and hit the like button on this video. For some reason, the camera's really, really shaking. I'm not sure if that's gonna show up in the video, but we do a lot of automotive content and I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more racing slash NASCAR content as well. So uh, if that's something that interests you guys, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys after the freaking intro. I guess I should clear out the rest of the snow here since we're going to be working on the ground. But Jeep, I miss you, but don't miss you at the same time. Well, let's get this cleared off. On second thought, screw that. Because, uh, yeah, it's like solid ice. And uh, I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> of a pain in the butt but i might have to cut changing the wheels out on the jetta kind of quick um, i do have one on now we did have one wheel that was leaking pretty bad so all the wheel sizes and stuff tire sizes are all the same so i might have to just put one on for today which truthfully kind of sucks because like i want to have all four wheels on but i guess it really doesn't make that much of a difference um just to have, especially the one that was leaking, just to have that one off at least is going to be a huge difference. And I'll show you guys in a second, kind of like what the stock wheel that was on looked like tread wise and everything and just the tire condition in comparison to the ones that I picked up for dirt cheap. Um, you guys are going to notice one hell of a difference. So we ended up staying with factory wheels, just different factory wheels not really that much of a difference though really when you look at it i mean these have a little bit of curvature in them where those are just flat but this tire was so dry rotted i don't know if you guys are even gonna be able to see like all of this crap all the way around the top this thing was just so dry rotted i mean there was i'm surprised this thing didn't blow out last week the tread is pretty worn down as you can see just bald spots all over the place. Now I'm gonna wheel this over. <sighs> this ice is killer. I feel like I'm like trying to ice skate while doing this. So if we put side by side two wheels, yeah. Uh, pretty massive difference there. So actually a subscriber and a friend of mine since I was a little kid, uh, Tyler actually hooked me up with these wheels and tires for really, really cheap. So I appreciate that Tyler. And uh, honestly, I might just, might just sell these being completely honest with you. I really don't have a use for them anymore at this point, but for as cheap as I got them, I paid 60 bucks for these with all the tires looking in freaking minty condition so i'm content with that and we are just truthfully going to go with the i believe these are more of like the bug style wheels but like i said not really a big difference there i mean center caps tiny center caps with the kind of the lug nuts exposed where those are covered it's a half a dozen one way half a dozen the other for me but getting that front right wheel off because that one leaked terribly is such a good thing ultimately we're going to switch these all the way around and get them going but 
Next one would be this other front. So the front isn't as bad with the dry rotting, but definitely want to get them switched out. It's such a cheap and like simple thing to find things on Facebook Marketplace or just friends, family, people nearby that have stuff for so cheap. It's amazing what you can accomplish with very little money. I'm like genuinely bummed out that I couldn't get all four of them on today, but it's all right. I mean, today's not the best day to really do it anyway. Plus, as you guys saw, like I don't have a lug wrench. Woo, look at all that snot, baby. Anyway, so since basically I don't have a lug wrench that has the proper size for that, I'm using, you know, a socket and a wrench and the bar from my jack, which is, it's an okay way to do it, but I'm also doing it on top of ice, which kind of sucks. Everything's just kind of blay. So, uh, I'm supposed to get up into the upper 40s between tomorrow and the next day. So, I'm really, really hoping I can just get them all done then. That way, I'm not rushed. I'm not out here freezing my balls off trying to get wheels done. I mean, ultimately, like I said, only one of them is really leaking pretty bad. So, I'm just glad that we got that one changed out. Let's, uh, let's go for a quick ride just around the block, uh, see how this feels, and uh, go from there. Like I said, I'm just so bummed I didn't get all four of them freaking on today, but it is... I don't know if you can see the freaking stuff coming out of my mouth, but Jesus, man, it's a freaking chilly. That right front definitely feels like there's way too much air in the front side of that. Holy shit. It feels a lot better. I will give it that, but let's go for a quick drive. I didn't get four, and my dad's already, like, right here. Let's see what's going on. Everything seems to be all right. Like I said, just kind of upset that I didn't get more than one of them done today, but we'll get them all squared away between tomorrow and Saturday. If not tomorrow, I'm really hoping for tomorrow in particular, but uh, update coming on the Jeep here soon. We're going to be taking it and getting all the parts that we need to get that fucker back on the road. And uh, comment down below. Do you guys think I should find a replacement chrome trim piece for right here? Or should I just remove the chrome trim and then use like an adhesive remover just to get the residue off there? Drop a comment down below what you guys think. If we should just go like the solid maroon look or get just that replacement trim piece on the door. Sorry for the shorter upload, guys, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash the like button down below on the video. And I will catch you guys in the next one.